Welcome to the Operator Portal. The Department of Education and Early Childhood Development shares your commitment in ensuring access to quality childcare in New Brunswick. That's why the Department has collaborated with the Early Learning and Childcare sector to develop the Operator Portal. All of your data will be in one place, so that means less administrative work for you. Here's why your data is important. Your enrollment data provides our department with the overall picture of the sector in the province. This data informs decision-making to best support your needs. And by inputting your availability on the operator portal, that information is immediately shared on the parent portal, a single, robust tool for families to research facilities and find available childcare. We know, as you do, the importance of building relationships with families. The Parent Portal contains all of your contact details so that families can call or email you about your current availability to arrange an on-site visit. The Operator Portal is for every licensed facility in New Brunswick who provides early learning and childcare across all age categories, and there's no cost to register. The portal is simple to use and accessible whether you're on a computer or tablet at work or a mobile device on the go. If you've ever registered for a social media or online shopping account, portal registration is just as easy. We'll show you how to register and how to update information on an ongoing basis. We have also created a detailed user guide with step-by-step -step directions and an FAQ that answers common questions. We're also just a phone call or email away. Let's get started. There are two parts to the registration process. The first is creating your secure account, and the second is linking your account to your facility. If you have more than one facility, they will all be linked. To create your account, we need a few details, such as your name, a username you create, and your email. You'll also need to create a password. This completes the first step in the registration process and will generate an email to the account you provided. For security purposes, you'll need to confirm your email. Once this is done, we will activate your account. This step links your portal account with your facility. You will need to sign in by entering your username or email address and password. Check your email for your unique activation code. Enter the code and select Submit. Your account in the Operator Portal displays information about you as an operator and details about your facility or facilities. It's where you will update availability, enter current enrollment data, and create user accounts for other employees, if needed. Let's look at updating availability. Select your facility first, then select the Availability button. This screen will look a little different for homes and centers. The Update Availability screen gives you an overall picture of the spaces within your facility. A quick note here, availability is not simply the difference between licensed spaces and current enrollment. The portal provides you with the flexibility to adjust the number of available spaces you choose to share publicly with parents. For example, you might have four available infant spaces, but current staffing levels only allow you to add one new child. Just add one under Availability for the Infant Age category. Or maybe you have two spaces coming available shortly. Even if they aren't open quite yet, you can share that availability with parents now. If you have no availability, enter zero under Availability for the appropriate age category. Select Save and your availability is updated instantly in your facility profile and the parent portal. It's very important to keep your availability current so families viewing the parent portal have your most up-to-date information. You can update your availability anytime by signing into your account, selecting your facility, and choosing the availability option. Once you select Save, everything updates in both portals. Now let's talk about your enrollment data. This information helps EECD plan effectively and respond to your needs. You will need to input and regularly update enrollment data by the last business day of the month. For designated facilities, the data will be used to determine your monthly operational grant. From the Operator Profile page, select a facility from your list, then select the Enrollment option. If this is your first time, 
you will start with an empty report. You will need to add enrollment details for each child. Select Add to enter the first child's information. You do not need to enter names or any other identifying information. Each child will be represented as Child 1, Child 2, and so on. After entering this, you can choose Save and Next to add the next child. And we have designed the portal so that you can save your work in progress in case you need to come back later to complete the list. Simply select the Save button. Once everything is entered and up to date, select Submit. So now you have inputted enrollment for the first time. Moving forward, here's what happens when you need to update it. You'll choose Enrollment from the Facility Summary page. You will now have the option to start a new list or update an existing one. If you choose to update an existing report, your most recently saved list will be displayed. From there, you can remove previous entries from the existing list by selecting the red button. You can edit an enrollment entry by selecting the blue button, or you can choose to add a new child by selecting Add. Selecting Add launches a new form where you can enter the new child's information using easy drop-down menus. Remember to save your data and submit your updated enrollment data when finished. One final note. If you're not the only person in your facility who will be updating the portal, you can create multiple users. Select the Users drop-down option on the navigation bar and select Manage Users. Select New to add people and assign different levels of permission and access. Thank you again for doing your part to ensure accessible childcare in New Brunswick. Register on the portal. It's easy. It's free. Be found by more New Brunswick families who are actively searching for childcare in your community. You could be just the match they're looking for. For more information, please contact us.